guys, welcome back to an episode of Modern Sky Black 3 with Haley, and I'm picking up shortly after we left off. And guys, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm sad for two reasons. All right, <clears throat> let's get back in here. Let's take a look at the quest book. I'll give you an update on some things that have been going on, some comments that you guys gave me that was absolutely true. But first off, we are, okay, as you see, I'm in the Aether, starting a different spot. Uh, we left off here last time because we were looking for something. So let's go back in the quest book and back up here. Let's back up in the quest. Okay, so we need, we only have three chapters that are currently open and eight chapters total left. We're going to finish this series if it kills me. Hopefully it doesn't. Um... But yeah, so in the environmental tech, we working on the ice rings. I uh, showed you guys last time we got the freezer for that and we just needed to get the ring set up. And I actually needed a bunch more, uh, uh, what's this stuff called? Um, ice stone. So I got a lot of that because I've been out here in a while uh, searching around. So I should have enough ice rings. I think they're maybe done. We'll check when we go back. Um, the sentient ender, we haven't even started it yet. We may look at that in this episode. Um, over here, we needed to get the rest of the Emmy storage, uh, which we'll talk about the auto crafting, what I did miss on that. Um, but I should have close to, if not already, all of the certus courts or I needed, or uh, certus courts I needed to, to get that done. And then here, we're working on the poison dart and the heart and thruster. So again, when we get back into the overworld, I'll show you what I set up and, and hopefully most of that's done. The poison dart is what we're looking at next. So the poison dart requires uh, just these golden darts. And the golden darts are made from a feather, a sky root a stick, and something called golden amber. So there's no recipe for golden amber. I can click on it. You can be clicking on it there. There's no recipe for it. Supposedly, according to Google, there is a chance for it to drop from the golden um, saplings. Now, I tried to put the golden sapling in the bonsai hopper. It doesn't go into there. So it's not like it drops like a, like uh, apples or anything like that. You actually harvest it using the uh, Xanite axe here. So I have been doing that, but I have not gotten it. So I went back and said there was got to be something in the quest book up for it. So I'm kind of going through the open eight their quest line last time and down here there is a rest there is a quest for golden amber and I'm hoping there's more text in there to tell me more about it to kind of get into it but it require, requires this gravitate this is where I'm sad guys I have been searching this world for pink ore I have been on the search for pink ore for the last couple of hours <sighs> It, it, it kind of makes me nauseous. So, according to Google and the Feed the Bees things, it says the the gravitite ore it spawns basically underneath, like on the last five to six layers down below. Now it's really hard to see down here. It's very hard to see because of just how dark it is. So, uh, I went ahead and made a hammer, and I got a dev null here for the. Uh, oh my gosh, my mouse is sticking here uh for all of the holy stones i'm going to continue to get here because i've been i'm going to try to vein mine because i've been searching around like looking on the outside uh like i see so much so much xanite uh that's the blue one i just saw that and the uh and the ambrosium which is the yellow one but i have not seen any pink see there's a xanite there now it says that it's rarer than diamonds I think it's actually rarer than emeralds because <laughs> yeah, I have not seen any, uh, at least not on the broad side of the mountain. So we're going to try something and I'm going to try to just kind of go into this mountain. I'm going to just vein mine and hopefully, yep, nothing there. And hopefully I may come across some kind of pink ore. It makes me sad because I need pink ore. And I need pink ore. <laughs> Two different things. Um, but like I said, luckily I've been getting a lot of uh, ice stones. So we're going to spend just a few minutes down here to see if we get lucky. Because surely there's got to be some. What did I just get? Oh, that. It's got to be. Do I, I don't have my. Uh, turn it back on. Is it on? Wait. On. There we go. Uh, hopefully there should be at least one in this uh, mountain, this island here. Because I've been going south because it says um, as you spawn in new chunks you have a chance of getting um, that some of the holy stone will turn into the gravitite ore and I just have not seen that 
None at all. And I know it's down towards the bottom, so I'm trying to stay here low. And what, what I'm doing, I'm vein mining all of the uh, holy stone because if the if I come across gravitite, then it should kind of vein mine around it. See how I kept that xanite ore there? Okay, I'm going to assume there's nothing there. I'm not going to continue to mine through it. Let, let's try this bottom portion here. Let's see. We'll just try. We'll keep going. I just need one, uh, supposedly. I may need more than that. But hopefully if I can get one... Up oh, and my uh my, my coat my hammer just broke. Alright. Well let's go ahead and go home. So I've got a I've got a waypoint set out here um to just kind of keep going south here. But yeah, I'm gonna continue to search for gravitite ore because I kinda need that. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the portal. Three thousand blocks I've been traveling, guys. Three thousand blocks. Where, where am I? In the clouds. I mean there you go. All right, so let's go back and, and look at some things that I did learn. And uh, come on. Here we go. Let's eat some apples first. Is, is this on? Okay, this on there. Okay, let me turn it off while I'm here because I don't want to keep picking up stuff I shouldn't be picking up. Uh, let's go back over here to our system. Now, um, we had set up the crafting recipe for the, um, what's it called? You know what it's called the thing i can't remember the thrusters last time and it was getting stuck on the starting part so i could click start and it wouldn't go apparently and uh linda commented i think somebody else complimented as well so i needed the molecular assembler and since i do have two emmy interfaces because originally i had set up the mechle i had the crystal growth chamber here so i set the molecular assembler next to this interface i think as long as it's connected it still wouldn't work because if you're looking, I have two molecular assemblers because I have just a bunch of recipes. And I don't know if there's like a bigger option where I can set up like more rows of recipes in one interface. But I just got two interfaces right now. So since what I'm trying to craft is actually in this molecular uh, ME interface, I put the molecular assembler next to this and it actually worked. And what's really cool, there's really cool visuals on it. Oh, I don't know what I just put up there. I need probably something I need. Uh, let's go ahead and just put this stuff up. Apparently I got a uh, strange dreams thing for, um, that mod, let's go, bombcraft. <laughs> That's what I got. So, um, yeah, we'll read that later. All right. So. Um, so I should have all the thrusters. I set that up before I left. Ah, oh, look at that. 32 thrusters. Okay, so I'm going to turn that in. I'm kind of disappointed about that. We'll, we'll keep going. All right, so the thrusters I got, I'm um, going to text submit on that. So I took those. And the poison darts we're going to have to continue to work towards until I can figure out exactly what I need to do to get the gravitite. Like I said, I have, I have the axe. Um, it doesn't show what the percentage is to the drop rate of those golden, um, Ambers, so I'm hoping the quest book will say a little bit more. Um, I did get into Google just a little bit, but I wanted to go through the quest line and and I'm the pink ore. <sighs> Guys, I need pink ore. There, I said it. I admit it. I need the gravitite ore just to continue on with the quest. <sighs> oh, leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm bad. I'm fine, guys. Okay, so. Uh, the other quest I worked on, so I went ahead and set up just a hopper situation back here. I had the regular iron rings in here that were feeding into the uh, freezer here. And I was giving us these ice rings. Um, I had several ice stone. Uh, I mean, I was out there. My, this, this is how much stone I've got. I had, uh, I think I had almost a chest full. Let me put the rest of this up there. Because it actually took like, I think about six to eight stone to heat up or cool down <laughs> enough to get the ice rings. And then I've got those pulled down here. So... I have, should have, I may not have enough. Let's see, let's go ahead and go over here and click detect. So I'll pick those up. And how many is that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need some more. Uh, I'll put some more iron rings in there. But at least I got an, uh, an automated process to do it. Oh, wait, it's 32. <gasps> Did I have exactly? Th I have 33, yay. Okay, 
Well, that's done. So uh, we got half a quest done for this one. We got half a quest done for this one. We need the poison darts and the sentient embers. And then if we go down here to calculators, we got half a quest done here. So everything's half, half, and half. <laughs> so close. All right, let's go ahead and do some automation because I want to show you guys the uh, molecular assembler that we were, had last time. Now, I needed to make, I don't know how my spreadsheet open. I needed to make some numbers. Let's get that spreadsheet open. over here and there it is <laughs> the videos all right so i needed um 8748 certis quartz in order to complete the 1k storage unit i have 8231 i'm going to go and get started let's say 1k storage unit so i have one apparently but i can craft more so we're, i'm going i need a total of 2,187 of the 1K storage unit. Let's see how many we can go ahead and craft based on what we have. So I'm going to middle mouse click here, and I'm going to try to craft 2,000. We'll just do 2,000. Let's see. It's going to tell us if we have everything. Whoa. I have everything to make 2,000 of these things. All right. Now, this is important. I wanted to show you last time. If I click start, it should work. Let's see. If we go over here. I should be able to see some things going in the molecular assembler. I should. Let's check the crafting status. Okay, scheduled to make. Oh, wait, you know why? Because all my stuff is up here. So I want to put this molecular assembler next to that ME interface. And you can see it's starting to craft them. You can actually see it in the interface there. And if I go here to the crafting status, I can see this is going to take a, 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 a okay, very quick one time, <laughs> like less than a minute to get 2,000 of these. Oh my gosh, we got 30 seconds left and it's, it's just crafting or is it scheduling? I don't know. Crafting status is just 30 seconds left or so 30 minutes. Oh no, it should be 30 seconds. It's as fast as it's going. I'm going to have 2,000 of these things ready to go. That is so cool. So it's crafting all of those items from the materials. I mostly it already had most of these items in here because uh, I made the. Uh, I mean, I even think it said that I had, yeah, because I already have stored like two thousand of the logic processors, all of these things. See, I think that's minutes. So maybe by the time we get to yeah, it was just like going really really fast. That's a lot of seconds. But I think this is seconds here, minutes here, and hours there. So we got about twenty minutes, uh, which is a lot longer than the episode. So we're gonna let that craft for right now, and but we're gonna go ahead and look and see what we need to do because I still need one hundred and eighty-seven of those, um, and we'll we'll work through that. Okay, so that will complete that quest at some point. Let's start making some other stuff. Poison darts. I'll have to Google that. Matter of fact, guys, I want you guys to feedback. I'm going to give you guys some homework. You guys research and tell me what I'm missing for that golden amber. Because I'm doing everything that it says. I have the axe that I need. I was finding plenty of trees. And all I was getting was the saplings and the uh, and sky root uh, oak. No golden amber at all. So I'm pretty sure there's something special that I need to do with that. All right. Um... The sentient ender. Let's look at that because this will open up environmental tech, ET, ET lunar, and environmental materials. Now, this is from Ender.io. I'm going to guess this is not that hard. Let's do sentient, S-E-N-T-I-N-T, -E -E ember. All right. So, this is, I need, <laughs> really? I need a soul well with a witch in it. Now, I get a lot of witches down here in my in my little spawner down here. So we'll let's see how hard is it to make the soul vials. Hopefully, it's not that hard. Fuse quartz and solarium. Okay, so I just need to do it sixteen times. Well, one soul vial sixteen times. Now the ender rent. Words hard. The ender. What is this thing called? Ender resonator is what I need. Uh, solarium the vibrant alloy and the enderman heads do i have any enderman heads is there an easy way to get enderman heads? i may have to start getting like a mob spawner set up enderman heads let's see uh head uh, h e 
one h e a d i have nine enderman heads oh okay that's pretty cool i'll need 16 total all right so we can do that and i'm actually going to try to get the slice and slice to go and have this automated um so i have another cpu so i think i can do two processes in this we're going to find out um is there a way to craft enderman heads no i was thinking if they came from loot bags or something but obviously no okay so i think i have a slice and splice already we made it earlier maybe not slice and splice yes okay so let's go ahead and grab this and i'm going to need to hook it up to the system and i'm going to need to hook it up to some power so what i'm actually going to do um i've got power all kind of connected down here so this is actually going to go below now i have I have 64K crafting storage, one co-processing unit, and a 1K storage. Don't know which one this thing is using, but we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll tell me here. Let's see if I click on crafting status. It's using CPU number zero. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can hook this up down here. Let's see, let's take away this dirt and we'll get some power hooked up as well. Because I think I just need it hooked up to everything. Okay, so if I click this in here, that's going to be hooked up there. It still has some power in it. We're going to see if it actually works. I want to do a blank pattern. Let's see. Let's do a blank pattern. Blank pattern. Uh, I may even have some in there. Let's just get one. Okay, so I got one blank pattern. And I want to make the, what's this thing called? The Ender Resonator. That looks about right. Okay. So I'm going to put the blank pattern up here. This is a crafting item. So I have a crafting pattern in there. And I want to, I need to actually put this in this option here. This is a processing pattern. It's not a crafting pattern. It's a processing pattern. Okay. So I need to do two solarium ingots. Solarium, because I got chickens pooping out that. I need two enderman heads. Ender, oops. Enderman heads. Okay, we get one of those. Two, get in the right spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> two silicon. Silicon, S I L I C O N. Got chickens pooping those out. And then I think a vibrant alloy. Vibrant alloy ingot. There we go. Now that should, if I look at the recipe again, along, yeah, with along with this other stuff. I've seen people use this. We're going to see if it actually works. Uh, should be able to encode that. Oh, no, no. Do I have to put the shears and the ingot in that? Or will this not work for the slice and splice? Let's see. Shears. Here, I got plenty of those shears and I need an axe. Um, was a stone axe an option? Diamond. Wood, iron, golden, diamond, dark age, wood. Really, stone axe is not an option? Well, that seems weird. Okay. Um, about an iron axe. Do I have any of those? I don't really have any iron axes in here. Really? Um, all right. Well, let's just make some over here. Uh, get back over here. Give me iron. I'm just going to toss a few in the system just because. No real reason. And let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I can actually do it the long way. Write an encoded pattern of it. It's not a crafting for sure. At least I don't think so. Huh. Well, maybe I'm hoping too much and I can't actually do this because I, I know that you can hook up other machines to this setup here and it will actually go ahead and craft it if i have to do this the long way that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine let's go ahead and grab that magnet turn it on and pick up our slice and splice game okay. we'll just go over here and do it the long way it's fine all right so if we put this over here hook back up to this power now i can go ahead and grab the materials and see how many of those I can make. So I need, let's just clear that out. Solarium, S-O-U-L. So I need a, about half a stack of that because it gets 16 of those. Enderman head. Get all nine of those for right now. Then I'm going to need silicone. Get half a stack of that. And the vibrant alloy. 
yeah so guys if i did something wrong on that let me know uh if that if that was possible to connect the the machine to the setup because i really want to do that all right so let's go ahead and do, set this up oh wait you can only do one at, oh, i can only do one at a time really that's silly all right well it's crafting that one we're gonna do as many as we can <laughs> Uh, we just have like a minute left here. All right, we'll just go ahead and get the one for right now. I'll craft the two. And then in order to make this the sentient version, I need to make a soul binder. Have I made a soul binder? That I don't have. So let's see what we need to do to make a soul binder. So right click on that soul binder is oh, it's gonna take one of my enderman heads no ah, but it's understandable understandable soul binder well actually won't because i'm all over there all right oh wait oh it's down here okay i need the machine chassis let's go ahead and get that uh which means can i just do i have a do i have any machine chassis machine chassis no i don't okay let's get the basic one Should be easy enough to make. And then what's that other thing that it needs? Uh, the attune, soul attune dye blend. I should have some of that. Well, now I got more. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the alloy smelter, which is the simple alloy smelter that we have. Put that, that. And while that is cooking up, I'm gonna say my goodbyes for right now. <sighs> Guys, I need pink ore. Why does this game hate me so much? I'm only joking. Pink is not bad. It's just not a desired color that I would choose for. <sighs> I don't know. Guys, right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. Oh, I can just click on that. It's really... Uh, if you want to hang out with me and the other squad members, you can do so by becoming one of our Patreons. The Patreon links are listed in the description field below, so make sure you click on it to learn about all the awesome cool rewards that we have, such as hanging out with us on Discord and chit-chatting with us on the Patreon servers. If you want a server to play on with your friends, be sure to head on to Host Havoc. Host Havoc is who we use for all of our multiplayer series, as well as those Patreon servers that I just talked about. <sighs> we'll get this, guys. We will get this sentient embers we can work on and I'm going back to repair my uh, my hammer here where's my where's, where, where's the crafting oh there's um, repair this hammer so I can continue to look for pink ore <sighs> until next time guys I'll talk to you later have a good one guys bye